G'day everyone, Buck up in North Queensland. As you know, I've got the Jackery solar generator here. The whole reason I have this thing is Jackery want me to try and test this thing out to see what it can do and what it can run in my house after we lose power after a big cyclone, which has happened a couple of times up here to me since I've been living in, in Innisfail up here in far north Queensland. Last night, I put the house over onto Jackery power. I turned off mains power. I was powering the whole house last night on the Jackery. It only lasted five hours, but I was running everything, guys. Big chest freezers, two big fridges, ceiling fans, okay? It lasted about five hours. After a cyclone, I'm not gonna be running that much equipment. I won't be running the big freezer. I'll only be running one of the fridges and all that. Those tests are coming up. That's not what this clip is about. At the end of the day, the Jackery, now that I've got the generator switch put in the house, the Jackery will power my house. But I'm gonna have to be careful with what I actually try and power off it. Obviously, trying to run massive equipment all night isn't going to work. I know that. And I won't be running the big freezer and two big fridges and the shed fridge and and a lot of that stuff. I just need it to power one fridge and ceiling fans. That testing's coming up in future clips, okay? What I have done, but, is I've flattened the Jackery. She's down to zero. I think the display will still come on. As you know, I'm gonna try and use the Jackery in conjunction. She's on 0%, she's flat. Flat as a tack. I'm gonna use the Jackery in conjunction with my angle generator so that I've got the best of both worlds. I don't want to use the generator non-stop to power my house. I, what I need to power a fridge and some ceiling fans and a couple of lights. This Jackery, I, I'm confident, is going to do it. I asked too much of it last night. I can't power my whole house with everything in there going at the same time. It lasted five hours. It put up a good effort. Um, I've got a lot of gear running in there, guys. Big freezers, big fridges, stuff out here in the shed. I was running the whole, the whole show. But what I need to know is how long is it going to take me when my Jackery does get low, how long to charge it up using my little uh, 2,500 watt angle generator. Okay, so my idea is to try and use the Jackery during the day, uh, sorry, during the night, so I'm not annoying the neighbours, and then when it's low in the morning, charge it up again, run the house during the day, just with what I need, and then before dark, power it up to 100% again. So I need to know how long it's gonna take me to charge it up with a generator. That's what I'm doing in this clip. That's why it's gonna be a nice short clip. I'm not gonna stuff around. The Jackery's on 0%. I'm gonna fire up the angle generator. It's just started to rain. I've got the generator just in out of the rain here, guys, but it's well ventilated. So I'm gonna better crank the generator up and see how long it takes to charge the Jackery up to 100%. Right, let's get into it. My fuel's almost full. I, go, I powered the camper trailer up the other day using the Jenny and uh, just made sure the battery was charged up. So it's still got almost a full tank of fuel. I've checked the oil, she's good to go. So all I need to do is start the angle generator up. It's a 2,500 watt uh, pure sine wave generator. And I'm gonna use this in conjunction with the Jackery to help me get through those times when we lose power after a, a power outage, okay? So, let's make sure everything's ready to go. I'll turn the, turn the eco switch off for now. Make sure the vent's on. Let's start him up, eh? Turn him to, turn him to choke and two pulls and she should go. One pull, even better. Put her on choke, start her up, and then put it on to uh, just run it on on. Just let that warm up a little bit, and then I'm gonna put the, uh, the plug in, which is already plugged into the back of the Jackery. So I'm gonna charge the Jackery up using 240 volts coming out of my pure sine wave generator. Rightio. So 
I say don't start a generator up, under load, start it up, warm it up, and then put her in. So that's now providing power into the jackery. Put the eco throttle on. She's revving up, and let's go over and see what the jackery's doing. See how much power's going in. That generator's just throttled up, so the jackery sounds like it's sucking as much power out of this as it can to try and charge up quickly. That's, that's idling quite high to what it normally does. So I'm tipping, there's a lot of power going into that jackery. Right out. So I knew that. I knew the jackery was pulling a bit of power out of that generator just by the way the angle generator is revving. When I'm just charging a battery up in the camper trailer, I'll put the eco throttle on, it, it idles really low. But it's idling quite high at the moment. And it is pumping in over 1,900 watts. 1,000, so this is a 2,032, 2,034 or whatever watt hours. This is pumping in 19, 1930, 1940 watts. So if I do my calculations, I'm tipping, it should be just over an hour to fully charge this jackery. It's 8.35, I put the generator on at 8.34. So at 8.34, let's see how long it takes. Jackery's already up on 3%. 1930, 1925, so she's pumping the power in. This should only take a bit over an hour, guys, I reckon. Let's come back when she's on 100% and see how it goes. For that angle, she's cranking the power in, big time. Hover it between 1920 and 1940. That's the input. Good stuff. Hey, one thing I realised when I turned the camera off, 1920 to 1940 or whatever, telling me here 1.5 hours so it's already up on 4% so it does the calculations for you so in about one and a half hours this should be fully uh, fully charged up again which isn't too bad but, uh, let's see if it's on the money with the one and a half hours that should be what is it I say 8.30 10, 10 o'clock eh? about 10 o'clock we should be 100% roughly Hey, for those wondering, so I totally flattened that jackery. Now listen, I can charge that jackery up using solar power as well, if you don't know. That is roughly, it's a 2042 watt hour thing. Divide that by 12, you come up with about 170. So it's about the 170 amp hour, guys. When you think about it, I start putting solar panels on that. I can put two solar panels in there, a 200 watt solar panel and a 100 watt uh, Jackery solar panel and the 200 watt kick cars. I'm not gonna get 300 watts out of those two solar panels. That's their maximum rating. You've gotta have perfect conditions to do that. If you wanna charge one of these big things up using solar, it's gonna take a hell of a long time. You would have to be, you'd have to have half a dozen solar panels pumping into that. I think the only way when it's totally flat is to run it and charge it up on 240. And if you haven't got power, you're gonna need a generator. That's why people say, oh, why are you having a generator and a jackery? I'm using them in conjunction with each other. Trying to charge that jackery, I, there's no way I could get that back to 100% from empty by the end of the day, especially when it's overcast. It is not going to happen. So anyone who thinks they can just go out and run heavy drawer appliances and just power it off solar, you've got another thing coming, guys. If you flatten that jackery, you're gonna need a generator to get it up to speed. You're gonna need 240 volts if you're in Australia, 110 if you're over in America, okay? I think the only way to run that, if you're gonna take, you can go out camping with it and you're running a little camping fridge off it and some LED lights, solar will be fine. But when you're running big house fridges and freezers and all that type of stuff and you flatten it overnight, you need a generator to get it back up to speed. That's the way I see it. Righto everyone, it's 9.30, so it's been 55 minutes 
since I started the generator up. The generator, I just heard I've been out here tinkering, getting ready for my next cook up on Saturday night, which is gonna be a beauty. Just heard the generator idle down a bit, so she was going full revs there for 55 minutes. And it's just idle down, she's putting in 1120 watts at the moment, okay? So it's on 79%, so what they say about a lithium battery, or battery charges, they'll, they'll go full bore to about 80% by filling a bucket up. You turn the hose right on, full bore, and then as you get to the top, you ease it off a little bit. Exactly how they charge a lithium battery up. Pumps in maximum power to about 80%, and then it'll slowly ease down. As that gets higher and gets closer to 100%, you'll hear that idle down even more. 55 minutes, and we've hit 80%. So not too bad. It's telling me now 0.6 of an hour to go. So just over half an hour, and the jackery should be done. It's said about an hour and a half, which is pretty good considering it's about 170 amp hour battery inside that, and it was on zero when I started the generator up. So everything going pretty good so far. Rightio, so 95% and the generator just idled down. Again, I was just putting a competition up on Facebook, guys, to win some Gigi Gorilla gear in relation to the cook-up I'm doing on Saturday night. It's gonna be a beauty. But anyway, as I was posting that one up, I heard the generator idle down again, and it's down to put in 740 uh, watts of power now. As I said, higher, the higher it gets, the lower it gets, so it's slowly getting to the top, 95%, and it has been, it's 9.52. So, it was on the money, when it said it's gonna be about an hour and a half, I think it's gonna be pretty accurate, which is not bad, eh? Considering it's quite a large battery in here, and it only takes an hour and a half to charge it up. Imagine how long it would take to charge that using solar. I just don't think it'd work. You'd have to have a lot of solar panels and you'd have to have the perfect conditions. Righto, be back soon and we'll give you an exact time. When that hits 100%, it's 96 now, it's just gone up another percent. When it hits 100 and it's fully charged, we'll stop the clock and we'll tell you exactly how long the angle generator took to charge the Jackery up. She's just clicked over 100%. The time is 10.01. I'll go and turn the generator off and then we'll work out our time. Well done, Angle Jenny. <laughs> I love this little thing. So, we started we started the generator up at 8.34 and it was it's 10.02 now. It turned over to 100% at 10.01. So what's that, an hour, one hour 27? if me maths are right, and that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So the Jackery's now 100%. So if I totally flatten the Jackery, I know I can charge it up in an hour and a half. Let's round it up to an hour and a half. An hour and a half using the angle generator, which is pretty good, isn't it, compared to how long it would take to charge with solar or running it in your car off 12 volt. It would, would take an eternity, guys. So she's back to 100%. People out there going, oh, it only lasted five hours. There's more testing to come with this. I had everything running in the house, everybody. When I, when I simulate an after cyclone thing, I'm gonna have one fridge running, some, a couple of ceiling fans, and maybe a light. That's what I expect of this. I don't expect this to run everything in my house as if I'm running the house off the grid, okay? Everything has its limits. I was running a lot of stuff there last night, Big freezers, two huge fridges, 105 litre fridge out here in the shed, ceiling fans, the computer was on, the, the modem was on, what else was on, TVs were all on standby, stuff like that, it all draws power. After a cyclone, I'm not gonna be doing that. But anyway, we'll talk more in depth on that in future clips. Gonna do a lot more testing on what this Jackery can do. I know now that if she's getting low, that I can get it up to speed to 100% again in an hour and a half. So if it's getting low towards the end of the day after I've lost power, I know I can come out at say five o'clock in the afternoon, run at the 6.30 and I know the Jackery's at 100% at about 6.30 at night. And if I'm only running a fridge 
couple of ceiling fans, I know this will get me through the night. I'm confident it will do that. It lasted five hours running a lot of equipment in there last night. Big freezers and, and fridges and that, as I said. Anyway, that's in a, in a future clip. Let's round it up to an hour and a half for the Angle Jenny to charge my Jackery up from zero to 100%. Pretty good. And um, at, at least I know where I stand now with getting this thing back charged up using a generator. Righto. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of this. Um, I'm going to do a lot more testing with this, how long it'll run an aircon, how long it'll run fridges, all that type of stuff. It's all coming up, guys. Now I've got that generator switch. I can, I can work out what I need to do for after a cyclone. And as I said, I just want it to run one fridge and some ceiling fans and maybe a light for a, a couple of hours. I'm, I'm confident it's going to do that. The other good thing that I know now, when I first started charging this, it said it was going to take an hour and a half to charge. Well, it was on the money, wasn't it? It's, it told me from zero, it, it's, I started the generator, and it, it gets going, and then it, it must calculate, yep, I'm going to be full in an hour and a half. Well, it was within a couple of minutes. It was on the money. It really was. So that's good to know. When you plug something in and run it off this, and you've got the output, you know, you've got power coming out of it, the Jackery will also tell you how long it should power that fridge for or whatever. So once it, once it settles in, you know that how long it's got to charge or how long it's got to run the equipment that it's running on, you know that that is pretty accurate. So I know that that works as well. Yeah, everything's going good so far. Catch you in the next one, eh? See you later.